I found out one of my partners had had sex with multiple people unprotected and I wouldn't have known had he not mentioned it briefly after we had unprotected sex and you know it's up to me to protect myself. PrEP is a new HIV prevention method that has been shown to be safe and effective for preventing HIV. And it involves taking a daily pill called Truvada, which has been shown to be highly effective for HIV prevention. Unfortunately, uptake of PrEP in the trans community so far has been uh, fairly low. And we think that this is because a lot of the marketing around PrEP has been focused on gay men and not transgender individuals. It's estimated that one in four of us in this country are living with HIV. That's trans women of color. For African American women, it's over 50%. And that's just unacceptable. We were hearing from the community that what was really needed was a project that focused only and specifically on the transgender community. And so we put together an initiative that we are funding across three projects in California, two in Northern California and one in Southern California. They span four years and will enroll over 700 people from the trans community on PrEP. When CHRP announced an initiative to do a number of demonstration projects uh, for PrEP among trans communities, we were really excited. We knew that there needed to be more research and we needed to figure out what the best way to deliver PrEP to trans people would be. And we needed to learn that from trans communities themselves. In the past, I've, have, I've had a lot of different types of um, sex partners. You know, I've dated people of many different types of gender identities. In my experience, being on PrEP helps to start conversations around sexual negotiation and sort of sexual risk discussions with my partners. And it's, it's something that I feel like will keep me safe no matter what it is that I choose to do in the moment. While there aren't any known drug interactions between PrEP and hormones, our project will be monitoring both PrEP drug levels as well as hormone levels to confirm that there aren't any significant interactions. I haven't experienced any side effects, which is fantastic. For me, it's just sort of something that I've been able to integrate into my daily routine. I've experienced some upset stomach but after a month, I'm fine. I don't really experience anything different from what I normally would. And you know, I'm really interested in seeing what the long-term outcomes are. Our goal is to connect transgender individuals to experts in transgender health, to provide PrEP free of charge to these individuals, and also to provide the support that's needed to take PrEP every day. We have a place in this world. Each of us has power, and we have the ability to use that to progress and advance health. So I'm on board, and I think that the more of us that take control of our health, the better off the world is going to be. The purpose of our state study is to really create awareness and access to PrEP usage within our trans and gender nonconforming communities. Our job as peer navigators in the state study is to support the community with adherence by providing tech support, adherence counseling, and we have a state quiz to understand your risk for HIV.